everybody. Um, just gonna make a short video uh, as a public service announcement um, to remove the cellophane from your records. Um, I was listening to some music last night in my dining room and um, while the music was playing I was sifting through some of my older records and just taking a look at some of them and I ended up uh, pulling out this original pressing of Nirvana's from the Muddy Banks of the Wish Cop and um, noticed that the cellophane was still on it and I had opened it when I purchased the record I, I don't even know when it was probably late 90s and um, but when I was looking at it and noticing the cellophane was on it I noticed that it was really tight still even though this even though it was split down here on the opening but you can see up here it kind of created um, a lot of pressure and ended up bending the corners, the inside corners here. Um, it didn't do any damage to the records, but um, that's just kind of a bummer. Uh, it's been sitting on my shelf for a long time. Um, another record that I found that was in that same case, same situation, was my Smashing Pumpkins Gish 1994 UK pressing on Hut Recordings. Um, that one as well has, this one's not as bad, but you can kind of see like on the edge it's a little wobbly and there's some little creasing down at the top and bottom and that was simply because the, pr the pressure of like the tightness of that cellophane on the records even with this the even with it split down the the open seam um, of the of the jacket um, ended up over time creating uh, a little bit of damage to the jacket itself so there's a little bit of wave to both of these unfortunately but that's okay um i think the reason it, it, it got me starting to think back to when i first started purchasing records and if i would leave the cellophane on there for whatever reason like what that reason was and if i remember right at one point in time and maybe that says this is still the case um, i just don't care anymore but the people would leave the cellophane or it was said you should leave the cellophane on the on the record in case you want to resell it because um, the value is higher with the cellophane on it even if it's already been opened. That seems weird. Um, I don't know if I agree with that. I definitely don't agree with it uh, these days, but um, that had to have been the reason why I left it on, on there for some of these records um, or because it had a hype sticker or uh, something like that. Um, I did want to mention though, uh, one of the, like nowadays I, if I, if I buy a record, I open it every time. If it has a hype sticker on it, I'll just cut it out with a razor blade and slide that on the inside of it and then put it into a, a poly sleeve. But, um, I did notice like a lot of times, uh, some of the things that you find on the original cellophane, uh, is just really interesting. It helps you remember, um, Like on High Fidelity, how he was um, he was sorting his records autobiographically. I don't see how that could even be possible once you get up to your 40s and 50s and your memory starts drifting. But um, a lot of these, uh, the stickers, the price sticker to let you know, gives you an idea of where you bought it. Um, that kind of stuff is, is nice to see. So I, this Nirvana album, um, I don't know when I bought this one, but I can see by the price sticker on it that... I bought it at Monster, uh, sorry, uh, it's now Monster. It used to be Manifest Discs and Tapes. Um, I bought that at Manif Manifest Discs and Tapes for $14.99. I don't know what that album goes for these days, but I can guarantee it's not $15. Bucks. Um, the, the Smashing Pumpkins one, because the price sticker was still on the cellophane, I know that I got it at Papa Jazz, which is a record store in Columbia, South Carolina that's still there. And um, the thing I like about Papa Jazz is they used to put the, they'd stamp the date on the price sticker, the date you purchased it. And so I can see that on June 15th, 1998, I paid $9.95 for this Smashing Pumpkins 1994 UK pressing, which is, that doesn't, these don't cost anywhere near that anymore. They're way higher than that. Um, so it's just pretty cool to see that and be able to have those memories of 
what stores I, I purchased some of these things at. And I'm thinking that's why one of the reasons I kept the cellophane on a lot of the records. Um, so after discovering some of the damage on those two records, I decided I was going to go through as many of the other records and, and try my best to see if I could find any of them that have cellophane on them still and take that cellophane off. So, um, as a result of that, I did find quite a few records that still had cellophane on it and took all of that off. So these were just on records that were, that had already been opened, that still had the cellophane on them. I didn't find any more damaged records or sleeves, so that's cool. Uh, that made me happy, but I went ahead and removed them just for, um, for safekeeping. And, um, but in the process, I also found a decent number, maybe about 20 or so albums and seven inches and 10 inches that are still sealed, which I didn't realize I had that many in the collection that, that had never been opened before. Um, these range anywhere from, I, I think the seventies onward, um, Maybe the newest one is from 2009 or something like that. Why they're on the shelf and not open, I can't tell you. But um, I'm going to make a couple of future videos that uh, of, of me cracking those open and talking a little bit about each one. Um, so stay tuned for that. Um, in the meantime, though, again, public service announcement. Please, if you care about your records, if you care about your collection, um, take that damn cellophane off of those records and throw it in the trash. Cut the hype stickers out. Those are cool. I mean, this one, 16 live performances recording, recorded between 89 and 94, includes excerpts of band and audience bullshitting and rantings available only on this limited edition two record set. Now, how would I know that if I didn't keep that sticker? So cut it out with a razor blade, slide it on the inside, and you're not out anything. All right. Hope you guys are having a good day. Talk to you later.